And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Ben Rollin' Playing the Old Republic. Today, we are going to Tatooine to, uh, take a look at some Rat Ghoul infestation. And as you can tell, you cannot hear <laughs> light speed up until the end. Uh, there, uh, is a bug with the sound, and, uh, it is very annoying to try and record right now because... I cannot do cutscenes because after the first line you get silence. So you guys would end up reading the entire time. And for those of you that don't exactly watch in high definition or at the highest resolution that I really put it in, which is 720, um, yeah, reading becomes a little difficult because, uh, yeah, it gets a little blurred. So, uh, I'm going to save you guys from that for now, as uh, no talking is really required. Well, I guess there is one person I need to talk to, but not going to worry about that. We're just going to power through this, as uh, what else can we do? <laughs> but anyway, Tatooine. Alright, so basically you have to uh, be able to do Tatooine, obviously. So, uh, if you're, you know, 50, you can come here and do whatever. If you're 12, no. <laughs> you have to be basically done with Chapter 1 in order to, uh, do this world event. And basically what we're going to do is go over here. And I am playing with the trooper because, you know, XP and all. XP is good. Since I'm almost 36, I would enjoy it very much. But yeah, since the patch, um, a lot of things have kind of been screwy. I mean, not completely messed up. I mean, the game is still playable and all that fun stuff, but, uh, for the reasons that I record at least, being story and all that, um, kind of difficult, kind of difficult. Because again, I don't want you guys to read. Because reading is overrated. Alright, so we are going to go all the way over here to the last uh, zone of Tatooine. And... Yeah, you guys have seen this enough times. I'm just going to skip forward. Okay, so here we are at uh, the Last Republic base. Should look familiar for those of you who have, uh, well, <laughs> watched other videos. Particularly the, basically any class, the end of Chapter 1, really. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to head northeast from the base. And as soon as we get over this dune, we should be able to see it. Yep, there it is. And as you can see, a ship has crashed. And here comes a daily, or, well, an area. And recover codes from infected security. So basically, we gotta kill these guys and. Hope they drop stuff. <laughs> and you'll notice they're automatically my level. And boom. There, we got three. Or did we get three? No, we didn't get three. <laughs> we got blood samples. That's what we got.
And this will take a little bit of time to uh, get all three. Because basically you get kind of a random mix. Like here we got a dude. And basically you want guys, not rat ghouls. Well, humanoids, I should say. As they're the ones that are going to drop the security code things that you need. If they do. As that one did not. So, yay. Alright, two guys on this one. Hopefully they'll drop what we need. <laughs> Fortunately, it's just that non-exciting. Nope. There we go. I think that should uh, take care of what we need. Of course, I still have to kill him. Dear Lord. And of course, he blows himself up. Something to be careful of. And uh, you also get uh, infected. Which is always fun. Alright, so what do we need? Terminals? All right, terminals are pretty easy. As uh, you can pretty much do these without pulling anything, sometimes. <laughs> like here's one. I don't know if I can do this non-50. Oh, I can, okay. So there's one. There's one over here, if I can get there. There she be. And there should be a third one, as people are flagged and messing around. Uh, looks like everybody's kind of doing stuff, so I might have to wait here. Oh, respawned already. Okay. And three. You notice we get a codex entry for that one. Cover power cores. And here's the second one. Pretty easy. I believe after this I have to go kill a guy. Yep. And to get to, what is it, Magnus? Just come back here. Usually there's a line. As you can see, there one guy fighting him now. Of 
course. He's not going to be 50 for us. This will help. And usually people will run up and kill him for you. <laughs> Just because, you know, they're impatient and they want to uh, do the mission as quickly as possible. Access terminal. And that is down here. So yeah, nothing extremely difficult so far, right? Right. And you can have either DNA samples, which get you stuff from the vendor, or you can have the Rakul vaccine, which will basically cure you, should you want to. And yay, we're level 36. Alright, so... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. For the vendor... I suppose I should cover this before we uh, move on here. Come on. You can do it. Just skirt around all these guys. Vendor should be right up here at the top of this dune. And there's a little Jawa here. And you can get color crystals. Basically, they're all, you know, 31s or 50s. And they're all green. Of course, black green, but green. If you don't know what black green is, basically the core is black and you know the outside is green. And there's also boxes. Uh, here's the Rakul pet, or you can buy a vaccine. Yeah, no. You can buy the vaccine. You don't have to uh, get it from the daily or whatever. And you notice I get it anyway. Cause you actually, oh, you actually get both. Derp. Don't mind me. Alright. So now we're going to go back to Anchorhead. And get a loading screen. There we go. Um, do I not have... Oh no, I don't have that yet. Okay. Uh, come on. Alright, so we're gonna have go... Have a safe and pleasant stay. Oh my god, he actually talked this time. Alright, so now we're going to go to the... first area. Outside of Anchorhead, anyway. Shouldn't take too long. Damn balloon. <laughs> uh, come on, land. Thank you. Alright, now basically because I don't have... Now you'll notice faces are under attack by rat ghouls. So that's something cool. And uh, I didn't realize I didn't have this base on uh, my trooper. But we're going to run all the way over to here to turn in the daily. What's up, guy? And for those of you that don't know, there is a uh, base out here for the Republic. I believe there's an Imperial base out here, too. And basically, this is where the bonus missions for uh, the planet take place. As well as there's a, I believe, purple datacron out here. 
purple meaning willpower. And since I made a Tatooine video, you guys have seen it. <laughs> So anyway, onward to the base with the thing. Uh, I'm probably going to throw it into there. Good to plan that out. Now I believe this is the only cutscene, at least that I remember. Actually, there might be a second one because I think we turn in over here too. Let me uh, tag stuff real quick. And we're going to go over here. This will help. Short will. And turn in the daily here. Hopefully you won't have to read too much. Fascinating. According to my databanks, this blood sample's genetic signature matches that of organic beings classification 267102. Nickname, Sand People. And there you go. Now you're reading. Um hmm. Sounds like an opportunity. Okay, use the serum and infect. Okay. Up. Oh. Hold on. We had to throw up a second there. Alright, so now we have to infect watchers, which are, uh, you know, sand people. What do you mean absorb? How are these guys absorbing? Alright, so the Watchers are pretty easy to spot because, one, they're non-hostile. And two, they're... Hold still! And apparently, uh, I didn't realize that, uh, <laughs> when <laughs> you take the dark side choice, yeah, they don't like that. And when they turn into stuff, they attack you. Good to know. Alright, so I need three more. There's another one. Um, I don't know why it Incoming. doesn't target, but whatever. Oh yeah, I wanted to uh, do this real quick. And another sand person. By now, I hope you get the idea. But if not, we got one more to go anyway, so, you know, there's that. Uh, let's see, I need one more. And you count. Alright, so that takes care of one daily. 
now we can go over there, but I prefer to go down here. Don't ask me why. Oh, I just I had to puke. Okay. As uh, the illness progresses, you notice I now have glowing eyes and all that, which pretty much in my experience anyway means that uh, you're about to blow up. So <laughs> be prepared for that to uh, happen here shortly. But anyway, we still need, uh, what is it, wrappings from infected uh, people? go this way. Well, no. Well, yeah, I'm going to go this way. Screw it. This is where I usually have the best luck. I should probably just go and <laughs> not worry about it. But there are three different areas you can go to. I just kind of prefer the one that is apparently the most out of the way. Because <laughs> I have the best luck of drops here. At least the last time I did this. And, uh... I went <laughs> the long way. That's right, because I went through area two in order to get to area three. Okay. Now I know why this doesn't look familiar. Oh well. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is all these guys we've been seeing before, now we're just going to attack them. And of course, they're going to spawn guys just like the other guys did. I'm going to run out of resources, and this is going to take a long time. And there we go, one wrapping. I know, exciting, right? Can I talk to the Imperial droid? Target not friendly. Okay, I guess that answers that question. So basically, I mean, you can get up to three, but usually I see about two every pull. And there's a guy. And now we need another quest. This time we have to go to an escape pod. Which is back here. I believe 
I go this way? Yep. And basically the escape pod is from the ship and that's how, you know, they got infected and all that. If, you know, you really care about what the premise of uh, the world event is. Yep, those guys still annoying. Not exactly sure what's going on right now. I think they may have just bugged out the mission. Stand by. And we just blew up. <laughs> okay. So, thanks for that. Let's blow up mid-fight. Hey, at least it wasn't an important fight. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, we'll examine this. don't exactly know why level 28s are attacking me, but whatever. I probably hit him with my little uh, knock away ability. Or knock back, I should say. Oh, for crying out loud. Just die, man. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Alright, so now we need samples from livestock, which uh, those big things that uh, were glowing green before, yeah, basically that's what we're going to chop up and sell for parts. If we can find one. There's one. An infected reek. And there's one. Need two more, obviously. See if we can't track down a few more of these rat bastards. I love how they all absorb.
And of course, because they're level 28. Oh, we're infected again. Yay! Oh, and basically there is another daily I have over here called Plague Bearer. Basically what you do is you get infected and then you find a group of people and you blow up on them. You have to blow up on 10 people a day. <laughs> That's the daily. And three. Investigate murals. Which are basically all back the way we came. And since <laughs> you've basically seen me go this way before. Okay, so escape pod over there. We're going past there. And being chased by dudes. As we come over to here. Gonna look at a strange mural. And nothing happens. <laughs> Other than you looked at a strange mural. And again, since we're kind of over level here, not that big a deal. Really? You're still coming after me? Fine. Yeah. I had to go all of two feet further in order for him to uh, evade. Gentlemen? And the third one, which gives us another entry. Lure Infected Keeper, who is... Da 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 da! Back over there! <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's one big circle. For uh, this area of Rat Ghoul Quest. So basically you're just gonna cross the chasm over here and you know do the thing with the thing. We're just going to go all the way out here, blah, 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 come on. And dude is on the other side of here. We have to set fire to this, or just gently askew it. And you know what? I'm just going to use our uh, legacy abilities on them. See, they actually do do damage. They aren't just sitting there to look pretty. And beat him up. Take his stuff. And there should be one more. See, he has uh, the pet already. 
we have to go find the final mural, which is back north of us. And he's got the pet too. Whoops. Not, not still that, that. still not what I wanted. Uh how many do I have now? Nine? Eight? Something like that? Nine. If I remember correctly, basically you get uh <laughs> tokens every time you blow up. Like I have ten in the bank already. So I think you get five every time you blow up and since we blown up once. You know, we already had we had four from the mission and then five from blowing up. Alright, so now that all that is done, finally. And I keep hitting the wrong key. Let's head back to the Republic base. Oh, I need to get on the other side, don't I? I'm gonna be sick. Am I red eyed yet? Nope. So I'm still lightheaded, not feverish. Once you're feverish, you're about to blow up. <laughs> it's a good, pretty good way to uh, track what's about to happen. And if you're looking for good places to blow up, basically the fleet, um, most people tend to hang out at the PvP terminals, or uh, the banks, or, you know, on a heavy day you can find them. Oh, now we're feverish. You can find people at... Uh, the auction house. That's what I was looking for. And here come the red ghouls again. Not a problem. All right, so now we're just going to go back to Anchorhead. And here we are. Hold still. And we're just going to come over here and Oh, it's over here. Hit the drop box. You can get empty boots if you want them. They are light armor, so, you know, take that into account. Uh, we're just going to take an extra token thing. And that's it. We're done. So, I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, all that jazz with the thing. And... I was kind of hoping that would time up with me exploding again, but <laughs> not quite happening. Um, but yeah, uh, tune in as probably the next thing I upload will be uh, hopefully full sound working uh <laughs> Chapter 2 Trooper. As we need to get that started soon if uh, BioWare will get off their butt and fix things. Cause that'd be nice. And I still haven't exploded. But now I'm transitioning, so whatever. Alright, so anyway, I thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.